Growing up, I had dreams and aspirations, but always felt like the kid that didn't fit in. For the most part, I wasn't a bad kid, but when I made the transition into adulthood, I turned to the streets for guidance. This led to getting locked up in juvenile hall, doing time in CYA, and eventually a 120 month sentence in federal prison. I had a lot of time to think and reflect during my federal sentence. So I share with you what I learned, hoping I can positively influence someone else's life. What's up everybody? Big Herc 916, getting down fresh out prison talk. I know it's been a minute, but you guys have been asking some questions. So I thought it was about that time to tune back in and to lace you up. Now, someone was asking about some of the most horrific prisons in the United States. And they have places that you could only maybe dream of if you were in hell. And when you look at hell, this is what you'll find. Now, this particular prison um, is in the state of Illinois, and it's based on a 19th century design called the Roundhouse. The inmates in this facility are serving, um, you know, crazy time. I, I don't know what the sentences are. I don't know if they're, some of them are serving, you know, 10 years and under or 10 years and above, but a couple of the gentlemen I, from what I understand in this video are serving um, 40, you know, 60 years um, and then some. But, uh, you know, the rappers and the people who glorify the, the, the streets, they don't talk about this aspect. You know, once you get stuck in a place like this and you have to deal with the psychology and the mental day in, day out, there is nothing comparable to that. There is nobody that's going to, you know, come and, you know, be able to tweet out your little, uh, you know, voices of hope or tap in with you to get you on some of these other, you know, uh, YouTube uh, podcasts or what have you. You're trapped. You're trapped. You might not even get a visit. Nobody wants to go visit these places. And a lot of times they're in the most obscure cities or communities that you, you can imagine because these places are in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, you know, our goal has always been to put it in a perspective that prison is not to be glorified. It's not something that you would want to make a rite of passage. And um, it's sad that it's not talked about more in the equation of the crime element that's being promoted. You know, you kill somebody, you know, you're out there on the block, you're, you're getting your paper and you, you're trying to protect your, you know, your, your, your revenues. I mean, dude, it, it's, it's, it's part of the game too. That's, that's the part of the game they don't talk about. And the thing is when you get into that part of the game and you have to deal with the courts, and the pretrial and the lawyers and the judges, most of you guys don't know nothing about the law. You don't know if you're in there under common law. You don't know if you're in there under civil law. You don't know if you're in there under admiralty maritime law. You don't know if there's commercial law. You don't know anything about law because none of you guys have studied the law and you just go in there thinking, hey, I'm gonna put it all in the hands of the attorney or my lawyer. See, that's how crazy it is, man. The psychology behind, you don't even know what the law is. You've been watching CSI and, and Law and Order thinking that that's how the game really goes. It's sad, man. It's sad. You, you know, they can rap about, you know, hitting your ops and doing this and that, but ain't nobody talking about what the other side represents because if they see you to one of these places, oh man, yeah, you're going to be thinking twice. You're gonna be. You're gonna wish you would have maybe made the other alternative and walked away from the situation, or you know, been like, man, I wish I would have paid attention to Fresh Out and listened to what they were saying. You're gonna think twice, man. I remember when I first rolled up to Lompoc USP, 
and uh, they called the castle, and it was on a lockdown situation because somebody just got murdered the day I got there, and there was no there was no uh, you know no no people in the hallway. Basically, everything was on lockdown. You know, you walked into the unit, went straight to lockdown, and uh, man, you know the the food is horrible. Just like the food in the video is spoiled bologna, uh, spoiled milk, stale bread, rotten fruit. You, you, you can't call nobody. You're on lockdown. You, you, you don't have any hygiene. It's a horrible place, man. And I thought like, man, what did I get myself into? And I have a decade. See, you guys, you know, you think you just get away shooting people and, and, and whatever, stabbing people and it's, it's just whatever, you know, they catch me when they catch me. It doesn't work like that. When they catch you, oh, they got you. And if you got a murder beef, you will be in there for some decades. Multiple decades, maybe life. You know, hopefully you don't get you, you don't get the death penalty, but you might even get that. And 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 that doesn't mean that you're gonna be in there the whole time. You might get murked in prison. This shit is for real, man. Keep telling y'all it's no joke, it's no game. Everybody wants to act like, oh man, when'd you start selling crack? When'd you start doing that, doing that? They, I mean, dude, nowadays, why are you even entertaining that? It's so, I look at some of these guys and they, they, they come on these shows and they try to act like they're such tough guys and they're, they're, you know, they're bragging about this and that and showing their little guns. Dude, you're going to show a gun, you better use it. And if you use it, you better be ready to go, to, to, to deal with it and, and go along with comes with that. It ain't just you pointing and it's, Oh, you know, I mean, I shoot somebody and it's just all good. There's a lot that comes with it, man. A lot. So, uh, yeah, man, you know, I just want to share this with you guys because it's just so much misinformation and everybody thinks this is a joke. You know, some of these prisons, man, I, I haven't seen a lot of them and I don't want, I'm not going to ever see them because I don't plan on going there. But some of these places I'll start featuring on here. You'll see, you'll think twice, man, because you get caught up in there. Ain't no crying for your mama. Big hurt. Fresh out.